Grow Movement is a charity that I founded almost 10 years ago. Um, we train micro entrepreneurs in developing countries over mobile phone in business skills. So, um, uh, yeah, we take, say, a farmer in Uganda, for example, we match them up with a uh, banker in New York, and the banker talks to them for an hour a week um, about simple business skills like, uh, you know, how to write a business plan or accounting. And what we found since then is um, that um, the business person in New York can transfer effective advice despite having not been there on the ground and that can make a tangible difference in a very sort of low cost way to the businesses on, on, on the ground. In my experience, the main um, challenges for, for investors or entrepreneurs in, in, in developing countries in, fr in fragile states um, are, uh, I guess, the, the weakness of the rule of law, um, the the corruption um, and just literally the, the sort of the the weakness in the markets in terms of um, you know consumers have got so little spending power um, disease and the fact that you know a lot of employees are sick from from malaria in sort of sub-Saharan Africa fairly regularly uh, so and you know the, the lack of skills um, and I think that that can be quite a challenge in terms of sort of major um, I guess international companies or private investors investing in, in, in these countries, particularly conflict-ridden countries, and you know, they have to ask the question of, you know, are they being effective or are they actually creating more harm? Where I think there's a, a huge opportunity is in empowering local entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs tend to be, uh, so the micro-entrepreneurs or small business entrepreneurs in developing countries tend to be um, hugely talented, um, huge, have huge creativity and initiative and drive and that's obvious actually when you think about it because they're doing business in one of the toughest environments on earth and they've got no safety net or anything. Um, but they lack, um, but they're doing it in that incredibly tough environment and they lack formal business education. Um, and so there's a huge opportunity for mobile technology to, to deliver that. If, if you work with, um, say a small shopkeeper on the side of a road in, in, in a city that you see time and time again in, in, in many um, developing cities. Let's say they're selling 20 products. Um, if you, as a trained business person, go through the exercise just analysing the costs of those products and the prices that are selling at that, almost nine times out of ten you'll find that some of those products are selling at a loss because they haven't taken into account the cost of their rent and electricity. Into um, and their labour into factor that into the price. So if you simply teach them that and show them that you know, they should either stop telling, selling those products or raise their prices, um, that can have a huge impact on their profitability and hence the quality of life for, for their families and their ability to afford, afford other things. Um, so, and that's a type of knowledge that can be delivered by mobile today. You know, can organisations like Grow Movement um, make businesses more dynamic uh, despite the uh, lack of institutional support um, and, the, and the reason for that is uh, what, certainly what we do is we go straight to the end user um, so we you know, we go straight to the to the micro entrepreneur or small, small business entrepreneur so there's no you know, middle person there locking it there's no sort of poor in institutions we're acting against that and in fact in many ways we're we're you know we're, we're a pressure point for actually improving institutional effectiveness because we're in effect building up the middle class in these countries, building up you know, and over the long run, um, you know, if micro entrepreneurs and small business entrepreneurs, if they become wealthier, if they can feed their families better, if they can start paying taxes, then um, or pay more taxes, that then creates a pressure on, on governments to reform and institutions become more effective. Um, so absolutely, I think there's huge power in the, uh, the bottom up approach. Uh, London Business School and uh, Stanford Business School in Chicago Beef has spent the last um, four years doing a randomised control trial on us and analysed the results that, um, and what they found is, is that it's um, what we do increases the profitability of our, of our entrepreneurs and that they change their business models faster than they would do otherwise. Um, so that's really exciting to think that what, what we actually do does work and can potentially have an impact on a larger scale.